Hey YouTube! Welcome back to my channel where we discuss all things feminine, energy, hygiene, shopping, anything, motherhood, all things feminine. This is the place to be. This is where it's at. And if that is your judge, please hit the subscribe button so you can be a part of the crew. And if you really like the content, if you like this video, if you feel in what I'm saying, if you're picking up what I'm putting down, if you want to see more of it, if it is resonating, then give me a thumbs up and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any more of my rambling rant videos. <laughs> okay, now that the pleasantries are out of the way, um, today's video is brought to you by the letter F. Fragrance! Yes, we are talking about all things smell good. Not all things smell good because there's a whole lot of smell goods. We are going to be talking about some of the heaviest hitting fragrances in the luxury fragrance market. Um, not many, just three with a cameo of a possible. You'll get what I mean when we get there. Um, I consider myself to be somewhat of a fragrance teenager. I'm not a baby, I'm not a newbie, but I have gotten to the point where I mix my fragrances. What? Yes. And, um, that was a big girl step for me. It was a big girl thing. Because if you grew up anything like I grew up, you grew up hearing that you mix fragrances, they stink. That is a myth. <laughs> that is a myth of epic proportions. In fact, it is an amazing way to create new fragrances and new scents that are unique, one of a kind, and amazing if you know your body's chemistry. We ain't going that deep today. I'm literally just going to talk about my three at the moment that I'm really really having a ball with and I think every girl needs to have um, when they're beginning their luxury fragrance collection all right so I do have my phone so I will be looking down at this thing a little bit don't judge the model yes it is old again I am no expert I am not a baby in this anymore, but I'm not an expert, okay? So be nice and let's get into it. So my first fragrance um, that I really, 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 really love, like I love this fragrance. Um, it's by Parfum de Marley, Delina. Um, and she is beautiful. She is amazing. She comes in this really pretty, heavy as hell ceramic bottle and uh just I just got out of the shower like a couple hours ago and then I started like doing stuff around the house I'm gonna go ahead and just okay because she makes me remember why I'm doing this damn video so the fragrance notes for Delina um the top notes are rhubarb lychee bergamot essence the heart notes turkish rose peony and vanilla can we give it up for the peony in this okay the base notes are cashmerin musk and vetiver now i personally love florals like obsessed like i love floral scents i love flowers not real life flowers, like not really because I kill them all, but the smell of them, the beauty of them, I love them. Um, and this smells like you got hit in the face with a bouquet, okay? Not any raggedy bouquet, like an expensive ass bouquet. Like it is a really nice blend of all the flowers. That peony really punches through. It is so soft. It is so flirty. It is so girly. This is probably my favorite spring summer floral fragrance. For years, my go-to fragrance has been Valentino Born Aroma because it is kind of sweet and, and floral. Baby. <laughs> the holding power of Delina is unmatched unprecedented she lasts she holds she will make all things that have come into contact 
with the oils of this perfume smell like her for weeks like it's crazy i have sprayed this on to run an errand come back take off all my clothes like i'm just gonna hop into bed and put on my robe and just lounge out and look at tv a little bit and my bed smells like I sprayed my sheets with Delena, my robe, and no matter how many showers I take until I put her in the washing machine, she smells like Delena. She's good. She is chef's kiss. Um, now, the price point for Delena, it's not, it, there are more expensive perfumes. There are more expensive perfumes. Uh, let me pull that up really quick because I thought I had notes on that, but I really only took notes on the, um, I took notes of, like I, I, I took notes of the notes. <laughs> I took notes of the notes. I took notes of the fragrance notes, not price point. Okay. So for Parfum de Marley, the Delena Auto, Auto Parfum, I just want to say Auto Toilette. Um, it is $3.35 at Bloomingdale's. And that is for the 2.5 ounce. That is this size. This is 2.5 ounces. Um, and it retails for $3.35 at Bloomings and at Neiman's. Then we have Yah I mean. She's amazing. Okay. I even have the cream. Like I got the cream gifted to me it just makes me feel so happy like this is a really feel good scent if you want to sit back and just feel good every time you smell yourself Delena it is gonna always be Delena Delena apple bomb you got it going on all right um so the next up and I'm the type of person, when I like things, I buy them in multiples. Not excessively. Like, not excessively. But we're just going to get into it. The Delina Exclusive. It is another variant of Delina. But it is a little different. And I'm going to read you the notes so you can hear the difference yourself. This is the bottle that it comes in. Very similar to the regular Delena. It is slightly lighter, this bottle. And I don't know if it's showing up on camera that way. This bottle is a little bit more powdery than this bottle. But also this bottle has the... Um, is it going to show up? Okay. It also has the um, the name of it on there. The regular Delena bottle does not like it's nothing here it's just a pretty 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 bottle um so for the delena exclusive y'all hmm Ooh, okay god dang so this is actually my favorite delena right i was torn between regular delena and delena exclusive and I went home and I kept sniffing the little swatches and I went back the following week and I was like, give me the exclusive, right? That is her. And when I ran low, I just, I told my kids, I told their dad, I told anyone who was listening what I wanted. And I was like, I want Delena exclusive refill. And I got regular Delena. And I have been hooked on regular Delena because they are similar, but they're quite different. The dry down, the cool down is very different. The notes in this is very different, but the essence is the same. Like they did a really good job capturing the essences of these fragrances. So for the Delena Exclusive, the fragrance notes, the top notes for this are pear, lychee, and grapefruit. The heart notes, Turkish rose, which is the heart note of the regular Delina. Incense and vetiver. And then the base notes are vanilla, musk, and evernal. Now, this fragrance is, again, one of my absolute favorite fragrances, um, only because it is the type of fragrance that you can wear anywhere, at any time, any season, 
any season because of that vanilla i think it does very well in the fall and the winter months as well regular delina don't get me wrong i wear my fragrances whenever the hell i feel like it because i'm moody so i wear what i want to wear when i want to wear it but when we think of winter months we think of vanillas we think of warm cozy kinds of fragrances and this gives that this tapers down that bouquet feeling like you still feel like you got hit in the face with a bouquet but then they sprinkled in some fruit and some some warmth <laughs> so it's kind of like it's like delena but it's giving softer sultry mix right the peony and regular delena is what gives it that spring like it smells so peony like it's just like bow flowers this gives you wow that is pretty right the lena exclusive gives you pretty it gives you floral but it gives you pretty it gives you floral but it gives you warmth it gives you floral but it gives you a little bit of depth with those different notes that turkish rose still carries and that is what's giving the floral fragrance in the exclusive but they did a very very beautiful dance between the fruit notes and that vanilla and that musk it just it it tapers down that extreme floral and it just makes it something that is so beautiful and so timeless and so delicate but still so strong holding power identical to regular delena okay you spray her she is on she is on okay the girl is on she's going to make people go wow what do you have on you smell so good people get in your car and i'm like the hell you got on she gets the job done exclusive is for the woman who's a boss and she knows it but she ain't trying to prove it to no damn body else that is what exclusive is okay delena is given i am here what is up you smell me you know you smell me and i smell pretty as hell exclusive is like yeah what's up we here and if you know you know <laughs> and if you don't don't worry you'll find out just two just amazing fragrances by the same same line <laughs> it's kind of corny i don't know why i got like a couple of more apart from the marley's that i want but this damn delina she got me the show code okay third and final fragrance because we're trying to keep it quick this is just a quick pop in hey what's up y'all this is what's been on my mind now this is the cliche of luxury fragrances. Everybody named Mama. If you started your collection, your, your fragrance, uh, your luxury fragrance collection has already heard of it. You have smelt it. You have got whiplash at the price tag and either succumbed to it or was like, the hell with that. Not my judge, right? It is Baccarat Rouge 540. But this is not the regular original Rouge 540. This is the X Straight. Okay. So she comes in an all crimson bottle. Right? All crimson. The regular comes in a clear bottle. Just beautiful, beautiful packaging. I mean, all of it. Everything by MFK is amazing. Um, and don't get me wrong, I absolutely love Baccarat Rouge 540. I do, I love it, I love Baccarat. Um, and it still is one of my favorite fragrances. But I think I wore it out. <laughs> I wore it out. And when I was down to my last, like, like okay, it's time to re-up on this. I also put into the universe that I wanted Baccarat Rouge. And I was accidentally gifted this gem. I was gifted the X-Straight. Now, the reason we're not talking about regular Baccarat and we're talking about the X-Straight is because this is in a league of its own. And because I have been working on experimenting with my more mature fragrances and my more... Um, more different 
fragrances and fragrances that layer well. Baccalaureate layers well, but I would never layer it. Like I, once you spray it, you spray it. Like Delina, I don't layer. I will play with Delina. Delina exclusive, I don't layer because there's so many different scents there that it's kind of like, mm -mm, no. Okay, so with the extract, the fragrance notes, um, like overarching, this is a woody amber floral. So some of these are not necessarily very common notes. So bear with me. Grandiflorum jasmine. I've never heard of grandiflorum. Anyway, it's grandiflorum jasmine from Egypt as a top note and saffron. Saffron. And that is one of the smells that took me a while to kind of like wrap my mind around. Um, the heart notes of this are bitter almond and cedar wood. The base notes, musky woody accord and ambergris accord. I can't say that word. A M B E R G R I S ambergris. Ambergris or ambergris accord, whatever. So, this version of the fragrance leans a lot more unisex than the original. Like, this is not for your girly girl. Like, this one is like, I done did all my girly girl. I want something that's going to make you go, what is that? You know, Baccarat makes, funny story. I got put on the Baccarat, I was looking at shoes and this lady was standing beside me. We were looking at the same shoe we were talking and I just kept smelling her and I was like, God damn, she smells great. But I didn't want to say anything because I was still focusing with my essay and I'm trying to look at these shoes. I'm trying to figure out, do I really want to get these? And if so, which size? The whole thing, right? This lady leaves. My essay goes in the back to like wrap the shoes or whatever. And I literally was like, I got to get to her before she leaves. What do you have on? And she said, oh, Baccarat. And I was like, what? Like, <laughs> what the hell is that? Like, I've never heard of that before. And she said, Baccarat. And I was like, Baccarat? She said, Baccarat. And I was like, okay, thank you. Whatever it is, baby, it works with your chemistry. So she goes on about her merry way. And I go around to every goddamn perfume counter. Well, I only went to one perfume counter. And then they directed me to the MFK counter. <laughs> and I was like, Baccarat? Lady said she had on Baccarat. And they was like, okay, you want to go see her? She's handling Mason Francis, Kirk Dijon, whatever you say his damn name. She's handling his stuff. And I was like, okay. And I went over there and she sprayed the swatch. And I was like... This ain't giving what she was giving. And then it cooled down and I was like, oh my God, it is. And I couldn't afford this size bottle. So I, when I went back, I got the smaller size, like the half size of this. So it was only like 200 bucks. And, um, which is what I was paying at the time. I think I paid what, like $160 for Joe Malone. So it was like, okay, whatever. This can work. Like it's not the end of the world. I can afford that and it smells so good and I burnt eat up and then I went and I bought the full size bottle because it made it made more sense <laughs> like it just made more sense to pay an extra hundred dollars and get like twice as much so again I was down to like the little bit of that I got this for um, as a gift and I was like wait a minute no that ain't the one I want and I sprayed it and I was like I think I would buy this for my man. Like, I think I would want my man to smell like this. And then as it cooled down, it was like, oh, wait. No. I wouldn't mind smelling like this. Like, I wouldn't mind my man smelling like this, but I really don't mind smelling like this. It is a definite heavy hitter. It is not something, again, that is for the girly or the faint of heart. If you wear this, you must be sure of yourself. And trust and believe, those with a very keen nose to certain fragrances are going to, it's, what is that? Like, what do you have on? When they realize that it's you. <laughs> I have tried to layer this with softer scents, like, um, which one was it? Like the rose and cardamom from Joe Malone to see if it would lighten it. I did not like it. I don't get the same influence from regular Baccarat. Like with the Delena. Delena because of that Turkish rose that something about that common thread makes them smell very similar. 
Um, so it's hard sometimes. I'm like, ah, do I don't want to smell like exclusive or do I want to smell like regular old Delena? Um, I tend to lean more exclusive. Um, probably now because it's a little cooler out, but it's hard to not go and reach for regular Baccarat 540. The x drape is distinguishable. It is its own thing. The two fragrances to me though are not very complimentary. Like they aren't, like this is almost its own thing. Like this is like, to me, not very reminiscent of the regular Baccarat. So if you have your regular Baccarat and you are tired of smelling, I guess like everyone who has Baccarat, but really who has that kind of perfume? Seriously. Um, then give this one a shot. Um, and that full size bottle. Definitely, I think this is the fragrance that you can get away with having a half size. At least until you develop the nose for it, where it's something you're reaching for every single day. Regular Baccarat, you can definitely reach for and wear every single day, no matter what season, no matter if it's scorching hot or ice freaking cold, no matter what the event is, if you wanna go out, and just grab drinks if you want to go out and have a night on the town if you want to go on a sexy date or if you just want to go to the movies and get that give your outfit your feels a little mm. you know that one is a standalone go-to for all occasions since i think this has the potential to be the same right yeah your family but it's just no. different. I totally At least for me. For me, it's like, okay, I'm taking some time to get used to it. But I find myself reaching for it because the cool down is quite delicious. All right. Um, that is it for the top three, in my opinion, for a girl starting her collection. If you are heavy into fragrances, this must be in your top three. Regular Baccarat. Everyone smells like it. Everyone has it. But not too many women will be bold enough to rock the extra. So there's that. Delina, Delina exclusive. 540. Rouge. Extra. You have great taste. Um thank you so much for coming by. Again, please hit the subscribe button because I mean, hey, it's free. Subscribe. If you don't get nothing else from me, you'll get a good chuckle. Um, maybe some bloopers. Merry Christmas because my editing is still a little botched, but whatever. Um, I'll see you on the next video.